Ladies and gentlemen, we, we've been on a short break. We are back now. Uh, it's a live program. Uh, there is a number on the screen. If you wish to participate, please dial this number. The number is 0203-397-4740. Uh, we are talking about policing in Tower Hamlets and indeed policing generally. We were hoping that the uh, uh, local police would be able to join us. They gave us assurance that they would be coming to the program, but it seems like there's been some confusion and someone had cancelled this program. I don't know where the police got this information from, but we're ex still expecting them to come and join us if they can. If not, we will invite them again and do another program because I think it's absolutely important for the local community and the police to work together in order to control the crime, not just in Tower Hamlets, but all over London and indeed all over the country. And it's so important to keep this understanding, this relationship between the police and the local community. Just before we went on break, I was talking to Councillor Rajiv Ahmed, who is one of the councillors for um, Poplar and Lansbury, Lansbury, which is where this um, <coughs> incident happened um, a few weeks ago. And there was a public meeting um, in a church that was packed out. Um, more than 200 people attended. The police were there. The elected representatives were there. The local community were there. There were several questions that angry local resident asked the police, which in my opinion, were, they were not able to provide satisfactory answers and I just asked uh, Councillor Rajib was he happy with the way in which the police responded to one of the questions and that okay. was they can wanted I, can I finish those four yeah. uh, police officers to be suspended yeah. okay. pending the outcome of the investigation. Well, after as, as I said, as soon as the uh, incident happened, we were there and we've been pressing for an independent inquiry which is taking place. We are quite happy with that. And as uh, uh, we wanted a meeting with the Bora commander as well, as you were there, she was there as well. So the public can ask questions, we can ask questions as well. And as she said that uh, because of the inquiries taking place, she cannot suspend him, but however, they have restrained the services. That means he cannot go out on the street well, and do his duty. I, I personally found that to be unacceptable, and I'll tell you why, because there has been other incidents where police officers have been suspended pending the outcome of the investigation. And, you know, the IOPC were there at that meeting and they said that this investigation will take about six months to be concluded. That well, is a hell of a long time. It, for the is, local it, is, it is a long wait. time, but we've been asking uh, uh, them to make it shorter. And uh, uh, as a uh, chair of the GLA, Police Crimes uh, Committee, Umesh uh, Desai is here already, and he has promised us that he's going to do as much as he can to make sure that it's uh, shortened up and do it as soon as possible. Well, what, so that what we you have to ensure on, under those circumstances is that uh, because you're uh, rushing the investigation that it does not uh, uh, prejudice the yeah. outcome. Yes. Yes. So we but need they to can give it priority. Yes. Right? Yes. Because yeah, this obviously has raised um, a lot of <coughs> concerns in the community. Yeah. Yeah. It's gone viral on social media. Yes. I repeat, so it's the, 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 image that, the images we've seen, yes. I mean, you know, obviously are disturbing. They may, yes. you know, they may or may not tell the whole story. <coughs> the story yes. I think it's also important to note that the police officers on the day were wearing body one video cameras. Yes. And Sue Williams did refer to that uh, when yes. she spoke at the meeting in the church in Poplar. Yeah. Uh, let's see what's on. Yeah. Yes, uh, yes. On, uh, you know, I um, mean, one of the points that on uh, Jack Gilbert made was that <coughs> were the police following the Mc McPherson Well, uh, My, my concern is that from the police's own, there was a public statement, a partnership statement put out where they gave the account of what had happened. And they said, we asked him 17 times to move his vehicle. And yet when you look at the video, what you see is just the police officer repeating himself and the other guy repeating himself and there are all sorts of questions about whether that's professional behavior because did the other guy understand was he actually making sure there wasn't an issue with sure. the other guy's sure. health and well-being all of those things So there were several unanswered questions lots of unanswered questions at the end of the day at the end of the day <coughs> not only that but to allow it to get to the stage where there is this physical fist fight and use of you know excessive force if ex you call a, for it. a force that's questionable yes now i un it's absolutely clear that they ha they have had restricted duties they can't go on the street <coughs> the question really is um so to be honest with you people can have confidence that they're not going to encounter this police officer until the end of all the inquiries in any policing activity involving them seeing somebody on the street yes. or 
being called to a crime. Yes. This guy is not going to be dealing with the public going forward. He's probably going to do admin duties yeah. at a desk. Sure. And can, I, can I just ask you that? I mean, you know, this <coughs> incident, uh, although we said <coughs> at the beginning that we cannot talk about the nitty gritty of it because it's still live and under investigation. Yes, sure. yes, but sir. this incident is not an isolated incident. No. We've had other incidents yes. where the IOPC <coughs> have investigated and have made a number of recommendations. Surely when these officers go out to do their duty, there is what we call a code of conduct yes. by which they have to behave themselves. <coughs> On this occasion, this was not the case. Well, I, I think, again, because this chap might interrupt. Yes, yes I am coming. Because I'm not here to sit down. And no, watch no, of course, of course. Talk, yes. okay? Do you think I'm the way sorry. in which they have conducted, uh, the police officers have conducted themselves at this incident in Abbey Feldy were um, right and proper? Well, uh, from my perspective, I would say a little bit longer because Three of these gentlemen have been talking since the yeah. show have started. Yes. So no, so um, my, my, my apologies for... Yeah, yeah. It's my chance yeah, okay. to elaborate, uh, elaborate <coughs> if they have <coughs> left any loophole. Yeah, it's sure. my moral duty of course. just to highlight the points because people out there, yeah. out there don't want to spend a second by watching, watching just a lot of crap. Yes. You know yeah. what I'm trying to say. Uh, we have to talk reality. Mm -hmm. yeah. We have to bring the evidence. First of all, let me start with my dearest brother Umesh Bhai. Like he, he have agreed in one point that in, in Brixton there were riot. Yeah? And 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 investigation stage they found out, you know, IOPC have found out that there are uh, institutional racism. I, I would like to thank him for mentioning that. So there is institutional racism everywhere. Mm -hmm. We need to find out the facts and figures, where are they? Now, let me just <coughs> come to Ta Hamlet. Ta Hamlet, after the incidents, uh, Rajiv have said that, uh, including mayor and the elected councillor have attended the crime scene or whatever you called. Uh, they have attended, we appreciate that. But it's not only that, you are truly uh, representing this community. You are truly, you <coughs> have been elected by this community or by these residents. You are representing them. You meant to be creating pressure on them. If they come out like such as... Okay, so do you think that our elected representatives are not putting enough pressure on the police and especially on this occasion? I should not say that in that stage, but I would encourage them to create more pressure onto them because I have shown Rajib is trying his level best as well as uh, others, yeah? Now, I would not say that they are not doing nothing. I can't say that. No, no absolutely. <coughs> but Nobody is saying that. I meant to say that we together... When the election comes, yeah. we are beside them, yeah. we are voting them, yeah. and we meant to be, they should represent us thoroughly. <laughs> Absolutely. Now, question is, when uh, the Bara commander is asking or saying to them, saying to them that uh, Bara commander is saying that un until the investigation is over, I cannot suspend that strong. If you dig through uh, the law, it would clearly say, you already have said that there are many other incidents have taken place yes. elsewhere, mm -hmm. as well as Tower Hamlet. It's not only that Abafildi Street, uh, early beginning of Ramadan, there were incidents in Shadwell. Same thing, exactly similar thing has happened. It, it was not necessary to throw that force uh, you know, uh, so onto, do you think, onto a civilian. So do you think the police are overreacting, perhaps abusing the power that's I been would given say, to them I would when they are policing our street? I would loudly say that police are, police are, uh, says, uh, you know, uh, it's, it's police brutality, end of the day. Okay. I would say, okay. I would say, that, is uh, this something that you are saying, or is this a, a word on the street? <coughs> from words, word on the street. <coughs> from the local People community. People believe, yeah, residents okay. believe, that we are victimized by the police who are supposed to look after us. Is this something just specific to Tower Hamlets, or is it generally all over the country or in London? Uh, 
it's all over the country but i could specifically if i just mention you uh, schedule beginning of ramadan yeah. incidents similar okay. if you watch both videos you would see very similar only places are different okay. if you see there is shandi street couple of months ago or perhaps a year Uh, there are similar incidents which happens front of a youth club a youth worker has been arrested in a particular way police have thrown excessive force on on these people okay. so i have i haven't witnessed that when somebody is about to uh, be arrested police supposed to give a caution okay look just for the benefit of our viewer <coughs> to make it simple what the way in which the police are undertaking their duties in tar hamlets would you say that the same manner is displayed when they are undertaking their duties in other parts of the country or are they using excessive force or police brutality as you put it in some cases in some cases in right. some cases right okay But, uh, mainly mainly can i just stop you there and see <coughs> see what our man can from I, can the I, can i come back as you mentioned yeah, my no, name yeah no i will i will i i <laughs> so i i want to say this <laughs> i don't uh, say, i would say one of our resident and mm, uh, chair of the bain forum um bma leave <coughs> labor forum well uh, i would leave the labor bit out i'd say <laughs> that he is involved with yeah. the, the community yeah. yeah yeah sure now the word on the street is that police brutality mm. the police are using excessive force yeah and tower hamlet seems to be as uh, certainly some of the other boroughs are high on the agenda and the Why other is th that the other things that i've heard are that young people who are driving legitimately in their own cars find themselves repeatedly stopped and searched and they were very especially around the aberfeld area that was one of the other contexts so people can i just stop you there perhaps bring in unmashbai mm. you chair the 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 crime police and crime, crime police and committee. crime committee yeah, yeah. The gentleman there just mentioned young people in the borough when they drive the police stop and search them <coughs> and ask them all sorts of questions. Can I just finish my sentence? Yeah, first? of course, yeah. Sorry. Yeah. So so there there are all, and also people also told me that they made reports of crimes uh like carjackings and theft and other issues and they didn't get a response from the local police. So on the one hand they feel <coughs> there are, there's lots of a kind of disproportionate activity around certain things and yet no action about the things that they are concerned about. Sure. So one of the big issues here is 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 and I don't think all police are racist. No. I think I don't I don't think there are some bad apples. There are bad yeah. apples. Bad apples in the basket. We don't have yeah. to say yeah. the whole all no, I think absolutely what that wouldn't be fair to what say. All members of the community want yeah. um is that they want to be able to be safe where they live. Yeah. They need to have, you know, gangs and drugs and antisocial behavior and theft and violence yes. off our streets. Absolutely. So Absolutely. it's not that people don't want a good police, yeah. they just don't want a police that they can't trust. trust yeah. Can I just come back? How do you, how do you monitor this in the well, committee that you chair? Well, ripping much. Sadiq Khan is a police and crime commissioner for London. Yeah. Like your police and crime commissioners yeah. elsewhere. Yeah. He's got a deputy mayor uh, yeah. in charge of policing. Yeah. Our job is to scrutinize Sadiq. Yeah. Uh, how do you scrutinize well, him? Uh, uh, the most effective way is basically we we have two meetings a month. One meeting is question and answer of the commissioner who attends four times a year uh, or her number 2 or sometimes the deputy assistant commissioners and we uh, ask questions around the topics of the day knife crime right now is a big sure. issue yes, and then the second middle of the month is what we call a thematic exercise so under my chairship i, I only became chair the very first thing that we'll be looking at is hate crime which yeah. i think will come on to later on yes of course we're going to be looking at modern slavery right now we're mm -hmm. looking at rape and sexual offenses yes. uh, but also ongoing dialogue with the, the police uh, uh, and, and uh, my community shows okay. like this by going my to question forums. was how do you monitor it yeah well see this again uh, Okay, let me ask you a qu question directly and then I'll come to a general point. Okay. In the old days in Tower Hamlets we had a very effective monitoring group called Community Alliance for Police Accountability. Absolutely. My first job in East London was to, it's the country's first anti-racist project, the new monitoring project. So we were, this was pre-Lawrence, remember pre-Lawrence mm -hmm. 1982 I'm talking yes. about racist attacks, police harassment, uh, and nice. I don't shy away from using that nice. word. Um uh, 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 and he, uh, he mentioned McPherson report. Yeah. And yes. and uh, I think maybe we need a group like that again that cannot 
not just bonnet to the police. Uh, uh, who's, who's going to police the police? That was a phrase that was used in the 80s. But also civil uh, edu uh, education about civil rights uh, and, and, and so on and so forth. The community monitoring uh, way is the best way forward. So there, right. are, there are two answers locally. <coughs> One is the local authority and the police have a crime and disorder, have a community safety partnership. Yes. And part of that partnership should be monitoring confidence and satisfaction. Right. The truth is that working group... Are you talking uh, about the ward panel? No, this is something separate else. Separate to the ward panel. So right. there is a okay. separate... The, 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 the MOPAC, the Mayor's Office for Policing and Crime, right. do regular monthly assessments of the level of satisfaction of people on Who the Who attends course. that MOPAC? Do we get the lead member for uh, uh, so community, community safety? And the mayor attending? So, so, no, so, no. The, so the committee is run locally, yeah. and that committee has hardly ever met, hasn't met much for the last 18 months. There's a meeting that either debated last week So or this, this is the entire hamlet we're yes. talking about? Yes, right, and okay. that, that's a joint responsibility between the police and the local authority, and that's just not been meeting. For the last 18 months. Hence, we're not surprised to see yes. <coughs> what is happening on our and, street. And let me just give you yeah. one other fact. Yeah. Um, it, there's a uh, MOPAC does an assessment across London of all We the have a caller, I, uh, Mr. Okay. Gilbert. Let us just take the call. My yeah, apologies, sure, Councillor no uh, Ahmed. I will, I'll let you speak sure. after this. Hello, caller. Good evening. Assalamu alaikum. Walaikum salam. Assalamu alaikum. Welcome, Assalamu alaikum. Who's calling, please? Yes, I just want to make a few comments. Um, <laughs> I, I think the police have a hard job in Taham, but uh, this guy. Who got arrested forcefully? Yes, brother. Can I right, can I just ask you ask you to tell us your name and where you're calling from? Pardon, uh, I'm calling from Whitechapel area. Okay, and your name is Ali. Ali. Okay, fine. Yeah. Well, I just make the comment. The police, if if he listened to the police in the first place, yeah, it all could have been avoided. Okay. Right. So we're uh, talk, plus, we're, we're um, talking about this. There is some racism in the borough as well. The, the police would more concentrate on bigger crimes than uh, deal with these petty things than a borough, you know. It's not good enough from the police force. That's what I want to say, really. Thank you. Thank you, Ali, for calling from Whitechapel. He seems Thank to think you. that if he had, if this gentleman had listened to the police in the first place, this incident wouldn't have happened. Yeah. Do, you, do you agree to, to that, being an elected well, representative? Well, there are a lot there's an investigation going yeah, on, no. and so, yeah, so let's not comment on that. Right. Yes, but okay. Okay. What can, I, can I come back? Yeah, as Shundurabai said about uh, doing things as a elected representative, well, first of all, I'd like to say that I'm from the background, from the community, as long as you know, and I'm with the community, and I'll be with the community as well in future. I just want, as soon as we hear that uh, incident, we did want to press for a, a independent inquiry, which is taking place, as I said, we are very happy with that. And also, we asked for the meeting, we want the Bora commander to be there, so people can ask, resident can ask questions, yeah. so she was there as well. Yeah. And Umesh uh, Desai was there as well. Yeah. I don't know if you uh, remember, uh, Shundurbai, you was there as, as well from, from, from the 80s, Begin. I think. Yeah. Uh, Umesh Desai used to come from Newham to help us with the uh, racist attacks. Uh, I remember him as a young man, looking tall and all yeah. this, he was there as well. And we, we, as we become the councillors and all the other uh, uh, portfolios we got at the moment, so many of us, we got member of parliament. Uh, Can you make it quick, because we need to go on a, on a break, just make the point that you, you want to make. Okay. Uh, I'm sure most of us are well aware of the history, but we're talking about the policing and in particular about this incident in Abu Well, okay, uh, just uh, finishing quickly. Sue Williams at that time, as I said, we were, we were not the thing we achieved, it wasn't given to us. We had to fight to get Yes, that. of course. And similarly, and we, are grateful. we are grateful to the elected representative for arranging that meeting with the police. Yeah. I think it was, it yeah, was much yeah. needed. Yeah, yeah. We, 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 we need pressed to move for forward. it. We, we pressed for to, it and yes, we had the yes. meeting. Yes. We need and to rightfully, forward. Sue Williams said that. So I'm bringing that at the same time because yeah. the way we fought before. Yeah. She said that to solve this problem, we need to have our own people into the f joining the police force which is very very important we should we should have our youngsters as many as possible they join the police force so we can solve our problems ourselves that is very important as politicians as you all know that you know that as well we, f we do, nothing was given to us just like this we had to fight for absolutely, it absolutely absolutely uh, that's the way we, we if we, if there are police uh, the officers within okay. our community from our we will talk about we can resolve our problems ourselves we will talk and about also i just want to say local that recruitment. If, if anybody wants to apply to be a police officers uh, let us know 
keep in touch with us. We'll do our best to help them as well right, and okay. uh, we'll tell them how to do that. Thank you, that's Councillor Rajan. Really going to solve the issue. Uh, no, absolutely. Well, that's what I want to come to. Okay, yes, okay. Exactly. We will it's talk about this it. in the next the segment. Forward, <laughs> thank you. The way forward. Ladies and gentlemen, we need, to, we need to go on a short break. We'll be back very soon. Please stay with us. Thank you.